Hello, welcome to Vacara's London Colony Training Centre. My name is David Ischek, I'm a technical trainer. In this short video, I'll introduce you to the menu and the graphics on our new Pinnacle combination boiler. At rest, the display will be dimmed and will show you the time of a day, the date, and the system pressure. You can touch any button on the display to wake the screen up. I use the home button. Now it will show you temperatures so you can make adjustments to the domestic hot water and the heating temperature. The green light on the right means the boiler is in standby ready to work. If there's an amber light, the boiler is trying to draw your attention to something an anomaly on the boiler, but the boiler may still work. If there's a red light, it means the boiler has an issue, it needs your attention. Currently, the display is at rest, so to wake it, press any button. Now, depending on the mode, it will show temperatures for the hot water and heating. I'd like to take you through the menu first. There's an arrow on the left. Tap that arrow, and we now enter our menu. Also, now there are arrows on the right and that will allow us to work through screens. Boiler mode, as it's a touch screen, is selected with a tap and we can select winter, summer or off. A green tick will appear against the selection. When you've made a selection, you can return to the previous screen with a tap with the arrow on the right. There are several screens. I'll scroll through them again. We'll deal with these in turn. When we've done that, at any time you've made an adjustment, press the home button to return to the main display. Temperatures can be adjusted for hot water here. And we return to the previous display and for central heating on this side, if the central heating has been selected. If you notice, there's an illumination that's brighter on the hot water side than the heating side. It means it's in summer mode, heating is disabled. When the display is activated, you'll see temperature for hot water and also for central heating. Pressure will remain at the top, time and date will appear on the left. The current temperature of heating or hot water will appear below the set point temperatures that the customer has asked for. If we want to adjust that temperature, tap the temperature, make an adjustment, tap OK and now that's locked the next uh, setting into that hot water section. If you notice, the heating temperature is duller, not illuminated as bright as the hot water. That's because this boiler is in hot water mode, summer mode, central heating isn't activated. Just remember, at any time, whether it's in summer mode or winter mode, if the heating is off, you can bring the heating on with a quick press of the icon or the button with three wavy lines on the left. Tap will bring the heating on, tap will turn the heating off. So heating is available at any time. So to investigate menu options, a press on the arrow on the left brings us into the main display. Now we can go through and investigate some of these options available to us. First of all, we check the boiler mode Let's have a look at system info. Now here, there are several screens that can be scrolled through by using the arrows on the right, providing information on the current state of the boiler. Alarm history, uh, system pressures, temperatures, there's a wealth of information there. So that's system information. You can't adjust anything. It's simply reporting boiler operating conditions. When you've got the information you need, press the home button to return to the main screen. Let's investigate 
some of the options available. Comfort function. Tap on comfort function and we are able to enable preheat, touch and go and smart preheat. Preheat means the boiler will keep its hot water section warm to deliver hot water to the tap a little bit quicker than otherwise. That would run uh, for about five seconds every 30 minutes, 24 hours a day. So there's a cost implication to that. Touch and go is a preheat, but it means it will only preheat on demand. So all you have to do is open and close any hot tap briefly before you're ready for the boiler to preheat. That will uh, give you one preheat cycle only. Smart preheat, that is a use of the water that's already in the boiler and hot after a heating demand. So what it does is it diverts the hot water that's in the boiler that has been supplying the central heating. The boiler has shut down for central heating. The central heating needs no more hot water, so it will divert heat that's in the boiler through the hot water section. So we're using that heat, that residual heat, to heat the hot water. If you want to make a choice, tap, enable the uh, function, and then choose which function you wish. I'll disable it there. When you've made a choice, tap the middle arrow on the right to return to the main display. Let's look at the Biberon function. Basically, tap the uh, icon. We can enable it or disable it with a press of the button. I'll go back to the main display. Basically, it's a hot water lock. So if there are children in the house or an infirm person in the house, you can lock the domestic hot water delivery temperature. So the procedure would be to set the hot water temperature on the main display, enter the menu, enter Biberon, let's get to the Biberon, enter, activate, and that setting that you've just enabled in the hot water section is now the maximum temperature that the boiler will deliver water to the tap at. So really, it's a safety feature. You've locked the hot water delivery temperature to a lower setting and no one can adjust it unless they come back in and make an adjustment here. There is a guided tour option built into the menu. Tap the icon and it will take you to 14 screens where you can refresh your memory on the functions and the options for the display. Tap let's start to go through the uh, screens or not now to return to the previous screen. The next option is hourly scheduling. The boiler is delivered with that option disabled. That would need to be enabled first in the parameters for this to be illuminated. If it had been illuminated you would have a time schedule to time the central heating system. Time and date, tap to enter. We can modify the time, modify the date, and there's an option to automatically reset the dates for uh, summer, or winter, daylight saving time. Another option, screen lock. This is a touch screen. Sometimes the user will want to clean the display and that would mean you could change settings inadvertently. It's always possible to tap screen lock, activate the block, and the screen will become locked. It means you can wipe the display without changing any settings. If you need to unlock the display at any time, press and hold the home icon in the center of the display for two seconds and the display is unlocked. There is a buzzer option. If enabled, then there will be a small audible signal accompanying any button touch. By tapping language, it's possible for the user to select one of 12 
European languages. In unit of measure, it's possible to select between imperial and metric units. The technical menu is blocked. It's protected by a password. We strongly advise only the engineer or installer make adjustments within the technical menu. Return to the main screen by pressing the home button. I hope this information has been useful. Thank you very much.